The Medella University Quick Guide The Cezaid Cup Attach the clamp holder on the rail. Attach a 1.5 litre suction jar for the disposable system. Prepare a new 1.5 litre disposable suction liner. Insert it into the jar and press the lid on firmly. Repeat this process for a second jar. Attach the changeover valve to the rail between the two jars. Connect the tubing from the changeover valve to the vacuum ports of the suction jars. Connect the foot vacuum regulator. Important! The silver three-way adapter must be fully seeded into the overflow jar of the suction pump. Plug the supplied tubing into the three-way adapter. Plug the other end of the tubing into the vacuum port of the changeover valve. Attach the APGAR timer. The recommended position is on the side rail. Attach the tubing holder on the other side rail. Disconnect the angle pieces from the lids of the disposable liners and insert them into the patient connection ports. Attach fingertip tubing to the angle piece of the left hand jar. Attach the Cezade cup tube to the angle piece of the right hand jar. To test the vacuum, turn on the pump and clamp the sterile tubing with your thumb and forefinger. Fully depress the foot controlled vacuum regulator. Press forward and down using the ball of your foot. Set the pump to the required maximum vacuum. The recommended vacuum level is between minus 60 and minus 80 kPa. This is equivalent to minus 450 and minus 600 mm of mercury. When the vacuum gauge shows that the vacuum is stable at the set level, release the tubing. Test the vacuum against your sterile, gloved hand. Return the foot-controlled vacuum regulator to its resting zero-pressure state. Press the back part down using the heel of your foot. The equipment is now ready for use in the vacuum-assisted delivery procedure. Application For general suction, Switch the changeover valve to the left hand jar. For the Cezade cup, switch the changeover valve to the right hand jar. As soon as the baby's head is born, return the foot controlled vacuum regulator to its resting zero pressure state. Press the back part down using your heel. Post delivery. Disconnect the sterile tubing and the angle pieces. Disconnect the tubing from the Cezade cup and reprocess it according to hospital policy or the Medella reprocessing guide number 200.2391. Discard the sterile tubing, angle pieces and cup in accordance with hospital policy. Use the attached plugs to close the patient ports. Turn the pump off. Turn the vacuum regulator fully counterclockwise to set the vacuum level to zero. Remove the disposable liners and discard them in accordance with hospital policy. To save time for the next procedure, insert new disposable liners into clean jars. This quick guide in no way replaces the instructions for use. This document provides a general overview for the successful use of Medela's electric vacuum assisted delivery system. 
It is not a training manual for vacuum assisted delivery, and it assumes that all clinicians using this Medela system are fully trained in the safe application of medical suction for this procedure.